Hello friends of Sudoku. This is a diabolical puzzle from sudoku.org.uk. I wanted to try a diabolical Sudoku for a while and uh, I went online and I searched and this is one of the sites that I came up with. So let's just see how this one goes. This cell must be a one, of course, because of the one here and the one here. And now the one here, and this one forces a one in the center cell. This four locks these two cells. Therefore, a four for this row here, row four, must go either here or here. And therefore, this cell must be a four. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a four at all in row five, would we? This one blocks these three cells, and the one here blocks these two cells, giving me a one for this cell or for this cell. Whichever cell it is, in combination with this one, this cell must now be a one because this cell is blocked by the one over here. These two cells need to be a six and an eight. And this cell must be an eight because there's a six already in the column. This is an interesting pattern and uh, it's sometimes overlooked, I think. The five here blocks these cells here and the five here blocks these cells, giving us a five for this cell or for this cell. Whichever cell it's going to be, it means that one of these two cells must be a five. And this cell can't be a five because there's a five already in, this, in the same column. So the five goes here and this five now and this five puts a five in this cell. Now the five here and here block all of these cells. And this cell down here is blocked by this five. Therefore the corner cell here must be a five. And now the five here and here and here puts a five in this cell like so. These two cells have to be a seven and a nine. And in combination with a seven here, we now know that this cell must be a seven. And these two have to be a two and a three now. And these two cells as well must be a two and a three, and we can place them because of the two up here. The three will go here and the two will go here. These two cells now have to be a four and a six. And the six can't go in this cell because of the six in the column. So this is a four and this is a six. The last digit here is going to be a nine. We need to do something about the sixes. The six here blocks these three cells and the six blocks these two cells, putting a six in this cell and therefore in this cell. And now the six here and here, of course, gives me a six for row eight, it goes here. And these two sixes block these cells and these two sixes block these cells. So a six will have to go here for column two. Now, since this cell here obviously cannot be a four, a four will have to go either here or here. It doesn't really matter at this moment whether it's here or here. What matters is that a ghost four here and this four puts a four in one of these three cells. And it can only go in the top cell because of the four here and the four here blocking these two cells, can it? So the four goes here. Now one of these two cells will have to be a one. And uh, in combination with the one here and the one over here, we have now found a one for the top row. It has to go here. The two remaining empty cells in column seven have to be a seven and a nine. Because of the seven up here, the nine will go here and the seven here. And that makes this cell, of course, a nine.
Now for column nine, we need to find a two, seven, and an eight. There's a two here and there's an eight here, and that puts a seven in this cell. And because of the seven here and the seven here blocking these three cells, this cell now must be a seven. And an eight must go in one of these two cells and the other digit is going to be a two. Therefore, this is a three. So this is now a two or an eight, and this is a two or an eight. Let's see if we can do anything with that. No, not really. Not right now anyway. So these three cells now, of course, have to be a four, eight, and a nine. There's an eight here and a four here, making this a nine. For column three, we need to find a two, three, and a nine. And I can't do anything with that information. Column two, we need to find a two, three, seven, eight, and nine. Two, three, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, there's a seven, eight, and nine in this row. So this is a two or a three. And there's seven, eight, and nine in this block. So this is a two and a three. That's interesting. Two and a three here, two and a three here. That means that two and a three can't go in these two cells. And since we have a two that blocks these cells, this is now a two. And this one over here therefore must be an eight. And this is going to be a two. Let's see if that solves the puzzle. What did we say? Two and a three here, two and a three here, and of course a two and a three here. And this cell can be not a one, two, not a three, not a five, six, seven. Oh, it must be an eight. That's nice. So now one of these has to be an eight and one of these has to be an eight. And yes, these three cells have to be a three, seven, nine. And therefore this has got to be an eight. And these two now have to be a one and a three. I think uh, something weird is going on with the seven and nines. Let's uh, recap. This is a two or three and this is a two or three. So this is a seven nine and this is a seven nine. This is a two nine. This here is a two seven, isn't it? One, two, yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. This is a two seven. This is a two nine. This is a seven nine. Is this an X Y wing? Seven nine, two nine, two seven. If this is not a nine, it's a two. And if it's a two, let me do this again just to make sure. Seven nine, two seven, two nine. If this is a nine then this cannot be a nine and therefore it's a seven. And therefore this cannot be a seven. If this is a two, then this must be a nine. And this cannot be a two anymore. Therefore it must be a seven. So whatever this is here, this cell must be a seven. So we'll plug it in. Now we need to find a one, two and a three for these three cells here. There's a two here and there's a two here. That makes this cell a two. Now the two here and here and the two here puts a two in this cell and therefore a two here and a three here. And that makes this cell up here a nine. These two cells now have to be a seven and a three. And these two cells must be also a, a one and a three, right? So the one here puts a three in this cell and a one in this cell, a one up here. And this is now going to be a three. And the three here puts a three in this cell and this seven must go here. 
therefore a seven here. Now I think we've got it. This cell's gotta be an eight, putting an eight in this cell over here and the four here, and therefore a four here. And this is now the nine we were looking at before, and that makes this a nine and it makes this a three. Yeah, finally, I think I found a diabolical puzzle that uh, was diabolical. I don't know the exact criteria for a diabolical puzzle, but um, a bent triple or an XY wing seems to be required to be able to call this a diabolical puzzle. I don't see those happen a lot in expert or evil puzzles or even hard puzzles. This was nice. I liked it. And I hope that you did too and that you will be back for more. Thank you for watching and bye for now.